Bora TV. The world is thinking. It's interesting to think too about how we're culturated, that it might be that our urge to, dom our domestic urge might be one of those things that's still a holdover in a way. So it's not to say that it's innate for women, but we are, uh, we're pretty good at it. And so when you think about like mid-century singles, uh, the way that would play out in real estate was really amusing and strange. So they would have um, the emphasis in magazines and so forth about how women would live. Um, what your apartment should be like. It should be, you know, fetching, how to make your own curtains, how to, it's all about how to prove how wifely you are so that when you bring a suitor home, he can see you as a wife-to-be um, in, in how you've uh, arranged your bachelorette pad. And then for men, um, you know, there was this, you know, the magazines were selling um, like a, a kind of highly gadgeted apartments that would, you know, so appliances that were taking the place of a wife so that you could live alone and you'd have like robots delivering you drinks. <laughs> so, so, uh, but but I, I do see it now that uh, the men I know who live alone generally live like slobs. It's appalling. And, and you know, kind of no matter how old they are. And, and, and women are, it's, so it's not to say that women are neater or cleaner, but we do seem to live better. <laughs> We're not saying anything, we're just saying, but we're not saying. This is gonna sound all wrong, but I'm gonna say it anyway. So one of the things that I've done in my research is read old Playboys, and the reason that, <laughs> all right, whatever. But the, the reason I do it, because there's a great revolt in the moment of the early Playboy against the wife, basically, against like the shackle of the wife. And so in the early Playboy is all about sort of men cocooning, like men, are like I'm having my own nice, I don't need you to clean up my apartment and to make everything nice. Like I'm gonna have my own like phonograph and my own, you know, cocktails and my own awesome couch and everything. So it's like the sort of early, early, early metrosexual, but it's in interior design rather than, you know, exactly. person, he, so. He, yeah, Hugh Hefner, he, he's a, a radical element in terms of how we think about decor today, that until then, men had been shoved out of the domestic sphere entirely, and we, we put them outside on the grill, you know, right. that's where men were, and in, their, in the, like the workshop in the basement working on projects. Right. And you said, no, you need sexy furniture to, right. to lure sexy Shag men. rugs, yeah. exactly. Because <laughs> ladies love shag rugs, we you know. Right.